So, in this video, I'm gonna show you how we can add different email signatures based on the recipient's email address or email domain. So maybe something like add this different email signature if one of the recipients is bradshepherd at greenork.net or if any of the recipients has at exclaimer.com in their email address. So for example, in this case, they have a different email signature they need to use on certain government emails. So they might say that, right, if any of the recipients' email addresses end in at gov.cls, then use this alternate version of the email signature because the marketing message needs to be slightly different. This one isn't appropriate for whatever reason. We need to show that one. So if I run a little test, for example, send a standard email to, say, someone <laughs> someone else out there in the world, it will show the typical email signature. Fine. But that special government one will apply if the recipient's email domain has that special government address that I specified. Perfect. But you could do other things with this. For example, these guys have this email signature. Most people are supposed to see it. It's supposed to go on external emails. Now they could go in and say only apply this email on external emails um, or internal. But unfortunately, this uh, Office 365 tenancy would also be true if it was a G Suite tenancy. This is split up into multiple business units. So technically the Affinitry brand here, it's like its own company different marketing team, different set of employees. From the perspective of these guys, it's like they're external. So they actually wanna show the external email on emails to them. So we can't just use internal. What we could do instead is say, look, add this signature on an email to any recipient, except where it's their own domain, at greenorg.net. So if it's a greenorg email address, then don't use this one and end up showing the internal one. So if I run this test one more time, let's pretend it's to my colleague in Green Org. We will see, look, it showed me the internal version. But even if I send that email to someone else that is in the Affinitry company, it will even though they're inside my organization, it will still show them that nice external version. And there are lots of other approaches, lots of other ways you can take this on, but that essentially is the point of it. You could have different signatures automatically applied, maybe based on email domains or specific email addresses. We can include or exclude them on that basis. Thanks for watching.